Imagine a world without clinical trials. We wouldn't have the groundbreaking medical advancements that save lives and improve the quality of life for millions. Clinical trials are pivotal in the journey from lab discovery to the medicine cabinet. Today, we'll delve into how the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, plays a crucial role in ensuring patient safety and regulating clinical trials. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. As health conscious individuals, medical professionals, or patient safety advocates, understanding the FDA's role is essential. This knowledge not only empowers us to make informed decisions, but also helps us advocate for safe and effective medical innovations. Let us now start by understanding clinical trials. Clinical trials are research studies performed on people to evaluate medical, surgical, or behavioral interventions. They are the primary way researchers determine whether new treatments are safe and effective. Clinical trials are indispensable for medical progress. They help us discover new ways to prevent, detect, or treat diseases. Without them, we wouldn't have vaccines, cancer treatments, or even common pain relievers. Equally important is their role in ensuring patient safety by rigorously testing new treatments before they reach the public. Clinical trials are typically conducted in four phases. Phase one, tests a new treatment on a small group of people for the first time to evaluate its safety, determine a safe dosage range, and identify side effects. Phase two, the treatment is given to a larger group to see if it is effective and further evaluate its safety. Phase three, administered to large groups to confirm its effectiveness, monitor side effects, compare it with standard treatments, and collect information that will allow it to be used safely. Phase 94, post-marketing studies delineate additional information, including the treatment's risks, benefits, and optimal use. The FDA is a federal agency responsible for protecting public health by ensuring the safety, efficacy, and security of human and veterinary drugs, biological products, and medical devices. It also oversees food safety, cosmetics, and tobacco products. The history of FDA regulation in clinical trials dates back to the early 20th century, with the passage of landmark laws, such as the 1906 Pure Food and Drug Act and the 1938 Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. These laws laid the groundwork for rigorous testing and approval processes that protect patients today. Key laws governing clinical trials include, one, the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act, 1938, requires proof of safety before a new drug can be marketed. Two, Kefauver-Harris Amendment, 1962, mandates proof of efficacy as well as safety. Three, the Common Rule, 1991, establishes ethical standards for human research how to ensure patient safety with the informed consent. Informed consent is a cornerstone of ethical clinical trials. Participants must be fully informed about the study's purpose, procedures, risks, and benefits before enrolling. This ensures that individuals can make educated decisions about their participation. The FDA mandates robust safety monitoring mechanisms. One, institutional review boards, independent committees that review and approve trial protocols to ensure ethical standards. Two, data safety monitoring boards, groups of experts who monitor patient safety and treatment efficacy during the trial. Adverse events can occur during clinical trials. The FDA requires prompt reporting of these incidents to track any potential risks associated with the treatment. This proactive approach helps protect participants from unforeseen harm. Now let us have a look at FDA's role in trial approval. One, investigational new drug application. Before a new drug can be tested in humans, researchers must submit an IND application to the FDA. This application includes preclinical data on the drug's safety and efficacy from laboratory and animal studies. Two, clinical trial protocol review. The FDA reviews clinical trial protocols to ensure they are scientifically sound and ethically conducted. This review process helps safeguard participants' rights and welfare while ensuring the reliability of trial results. Three, ongoing oversight. Even after approval, the FDA continues to monitor clinical trials through periodic inspections and reviewing progress reports. This ongoing oversight ensures compliance with regulatory standards throughout all trial phases. 
the FDA's role doesn't end once a drug or device is approved. Post-marketing surveillance tracks real-world use to identify any long-term or rare adverse effects that might not have been evident during clinical trials. For example, phase four trials are conducted after a treatment has been approved for public use. These studies provide additional information about long-term risks, benefits, and optimal use conditions. If post-market surveillance reveals significant safety concerns, the FDA can issue recalls or safety alerts to protect public health. This responsive approach ensures any emerging risks are promptly addressed. The FDA faces the challenge of promoting innovation while ensuring patient safety. Rapid advancements in medicine necessitate a delicate balance between speedy approvals and thorough testing. To accelerate access to promising treatments, the FDA offers expedited programs like breakthrough therapy designation, fast track designation, and accelerated approval. These programs streamline development without compromising safety standards. Despite its vital role, the FDA faces criticism for delays in drug approvals, perceived bureaucracy, and resource constraints. These challenges can impact timely access to new treatments. Balancing rapid approval with comprehensive testing is an ongoing challenge. The FDA continually seeks ways to optimize this balance without compromising patient safety. What will the future look like? Potential improvements include increasing transparency in decision-making processes and leveraging advanced technologies like artificial intelligence to enhance trial efficiency. In summary, the FDA plays an indispensable role in ensuring patient safety through rigorous regulation of clinical trials. Understanding this process empowers us to support safe medical innovations actively. By staying informed about FDA regulations and advocating for patient safety in clinical research, we contribute to a healthcare system that prioritizes both innovation and protection. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. You can also take our free online training, Introduction to Clinical Research, Investigators' Responsibilities. The link is in the caption. Have you ever worked with the FDA? Please leave a comment about your experience.